The school year just started, but parents may already be tired of hearing fine when they ask their kids about their day. Psychologist Lisa DeMora's column for the New York Times out this morning is called When Teenagers Bristle at How is School. She offers tips for getting past the stalemate. She writes, quote, few days are entirely fine and none are entirely empty. So how do we improve on this perennial flop of an exchange? Lisa DeMora is a CBS News contributor. Good morning. Hi. So what's the best way then to ask our kids about what happened at school? Well, I think what we have to remember is that the school day is long yeah. and that yeah. we put kids in close quarters with a whole bunch of people they didn't choose. <laughs> and the human, you know, the adult equivalent of this would be if we were in all day meetings with a bunch of colleagues and then we came home and somebody said, how was it? You yeah. know, and yeah. usually I we feel like done. Yeah, yeah. like I don't want to talk me. about it. Yeah. I, I just had a long day yeah. and I'm going back in tomorrow. So I think first we want to remember that. So one thing we can do is lower our expectations, right, <laughs> about the kind of conversation we're going to have. Yeah. Doctor, thank you for being yeah. here. Yeah, great. Another thing we can do is we can be more specific, mm -hmm. right? It's easier to say, how's that group project going? Or did anything really interesting happen today? Last night, my fourth yeah. graders teacher, in, in reminding us, the fourth graders, the kids have never worked harder or longer yeah. in school, said, you know, I find... Go for the good stuff. Yes. Ask them, start with recess, start with lunch, yes. start with a friend. But specific, yeah. exactly. And the other thing we can do is we can expect complaint. You know, the kids do what adults do. They come home and they unload. They, the day was long. If you ask, sometimes they'll say, you know, it just, it was hard, it was really yucky, and this happened and this happened. And we can sometimes then say, well, did you try this or did you try that? And then they think, forget it, I wish I'd never said anything. And it's actually more helpful if we can say, um, you know, that stinks. Gail's like the best mom in the world. What did you say? Well, to I don't your know kids? if I'm the best mom in the world, but I love being a mom and still do. Yeah. Mine was always what's the best day of your day, what's the best part of your day, and what's the worst part of your day. I find it's better not to answer give, answer questions that they can give a one word answer yeah. to. Exactly. Something oh. that has to force them to generate some yeah. some type of conversation. Exactly. But Lisa, I think you. I like what she says, guys. Parents at the table. Okay, she said, often when we say, How's your day? It's just really another way of saying, I love you, I miss you. Yeah. Aww. I think that's so true. Just to, you, you just, just want to engage. You want to yeah. connect, you know? And I think that um, how is your day becomes kind of a handy question yes. we grab. And, yeah. and I think there's a couple of things we can remember when we want to connect. One is sometimes kids aren't ready right after school. Yeah. Uh -huh. You know, they come in and they need to decompress or they need to go to their rooms. They've been around a lot of people. Sometimes kids will bring something up later in the evening, mm -hmm. you know, often on the way to bed or something tucking like that. I, I find yeah. that in that tuck-in time, all of a sudden, it just spills out. And mm -hmm. so if we can expect that or be on the lookout yeah. for them to bring things up, often we can connect then and much more on their terms. And when should mm -hmm. parents intervene when you said the complaints are just too much? Sometimes when kids should... will just go on and yeah. on and on. Mm -hmm. And parents will think, all right, what am I supposed to do? Mm -hmm. And the way I think about it is for kids, actually for all of us, the life comes in three categories. Things we like, uh -huh. things we can handle, uh -huh. and things we don't expect a child to be able to handle. Mm -hmm. So if a child is complaining about, you know, the kid who sits next to me drives me crazy, we can say, okay, I hear you. I think you can handle that. How can I help you handle that? Or you could say, I don't like them either. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's good parenting. Wait till you meet their parents. <laughs> yes, right. No, I'm just kidding. Yes. But I think when we do that, we both validate yes, their yes, reality, yes. but yes, we're not yes. saying, oh my gosh, I'm going to call the school and make you know, an issue of this. Got it. Yeah. But when you were recently at a ninth grade class, and, and you asked the kids for advice, and what did they I tell you? This. I this. So I, I was think with a bunch of ninth too. graders, and I said, I'm going to meet with your parents later tonight. Is there anything you want me to know? And this great girl said, here's what I want you to tell my parents. And she didn't know, you know, yeah. this was out of the blue. And she said, at the end of the day, when I complain about my day, the only thing I want them to say back is, oh my God, that stinks. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and I thought, I that's right. She's trying to connect. That's the kind of connection you can have. Yeah. 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 It goes further than we think. That's Indeed. important. Thank Doctor, you. thank you so much. Yeah, thanks Great for having me.